You see, uh, in the first service, we had just about this many folks who were uh, dedicating, not just the little ones, but uh, these moms and dads are really dedicating themselves to be the right kind of example in front of them. But I want you to meet these folks. I'm going to have uh, Dad uh, introduce himself, his sweet wife, and the new little one that the Lord has given to them. Hi, we're Troy and Carrie Attaway. This is our son, Chaz Randall. He was born on October 28th. We are David and Angela Mercedes. On October 8th, it's Christopher Matthew. Good morning, Joel and Jill Princell. This is our third child, Joel David Jr. He was born on December 16th. Good morning, folks. This is Emilio and Kimberly Sanchez, and we have this beautiful little baby girl that the Lord best us on November 27th. Her name is Elizabeth Ann. Good morning, my name is Kevin Scaleri, and this is my wife Gretchen, and this is our son, Dominic Hunt Scaleri, born January 25th. We're Steve and Brandy Smith, this is our daughter Ellie Jenis, and she was born August 19th. Happy Mother's Day, I am Greg Snell, this is my wife Rhonda Snell, and our lovely daughter, Ashley Kristen, born 9-11-98. Hi, I'm Melon Thomas. This is my wife, Christina. This is our baby girl, Lauren. She was born August 30th. We are Rick and Megan White, and this is our daughter, Alyssa Grace, born March 16th. Amen, amen. Well, we had two August birthdays. That's a great month, by the way. I have a passage of Scripture that uh, I want to uh, read. This is one uh, that uh, really is very applicable, uh, not just to these little ones that the Lord has given to you, but uh, right now, frankly, more to you. It's out of the book of Psalms. Psalm 128, verse 1, writer says, Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in His ways. I think perhaps the best thing you can do uh, as an example is to walk in the fear of the Lord and then to walk in the Lord's ways. And as you do that, these precious little gifts of God that the Lord has given to you, they'll, model, they'll see that example modeled in your lives. And, and early on, uh, Lord willing, they'll come to faith in Christ, and then they'll have the joy of walking in that same fear and walking in the ways of the Lord. Psalm 128, verse 1. I'm going to slip down here just a little bit so folks can get you in full, full view and not get my backside. But I want to ask you three questions and I want you to respond, husband, wife, together uh, with a yes. Three questions that are really very important in your commitment and in many ways your vow to the Lord this morning as you parent these little ones that the Lord has given to you. Here's question number one. Will you do your best, God being your helper, to live the life that I described in Psalm 128.1, to fear the Lord and to walk into His ways? Will you do your best with the Holy Spirit's help to provide an example of, of godliness and of walking in fear of the Lord and of walking in His ways? Will you do your best to do that at home? Amen. Amen. Secondly, will you do your best in walking that kind of an example? These little ones are going to see that there's something very different in your life and you and I know that difference is Jesus. Will you do your best when the time is right when the Holy Spirit is working and the questions are coming, will you do your best to lead this child to have personal faith in Jesus Christ? Will you do that? Amen. And then finally, I guess outside of you and uh, your family, uh, many of them are probably here today, those who are going to have so much influence on these little ones are those in the household of faith. So I want to ask you thirdly, God being your helper, will you raise uh, this little one uh, in the household of faith? Will you bring them to church? Will you bring them to Bible study? Will you bring them to worship? Will you be sure they have every opportunity that uh, your church avails itself to give to you to raise your child in the household of faith? Will you do that? Amen. Amen. I want to ask you, church family, if you would, uh, you may know uh, some of these. You may only know one of these couples. You may not know them uh, at all. But I want to ask you if you'd just pick out one. Just uh, begin uh, to your right and kind of uh, let your eyes go across the stage here and, and see if the Holy Spirit stops you at a couple. I'll give you a moment to do that. And then I want us to have a, a moment of prayer together to dedicate these moms and dads and these homes and these little ones to the Lordship of Christ. Let's pray together. Father, life is such a miracle. 
We thank you for the gift of life that these couples hold. It is a precious gift. You are the owner and their stewards, and you have handed, you have handed these little children that really belong to you to these couples just for a little while, and you have asked them to be a good steward. Will you love this child? Will you raise this child? Will you nurture this child? Will you discipline this child as I would have you to do it? And Lord, they stand here this morning as a testimony of willingness, of surrender to you. Lord, we do pray as we focus on them that they would walk in fear of you and walk in your ways. Nothing would be more important. We pray that these little ones, as they, as they grow older in the preschool years and brought to the household of faith and begin to ask questions about God and about Jesus and about the cross and about death and about resurrection, about heaven, about hope, that mom and dad would have grown in their faith that they'll be able to answer those questions. Lord, if it please you, would you give each of these mom, dad, and a couple opportunity by a child's bedside in their own bedroom, the kitchen table, to lead them to personal faith in you they might have a long, full life to serve you and to walk in the fear of you. Lord, we dedicate these moms and dads to you to walk in fear of you and to walk in your ways. We dedicate these little ones. Many of them have older brothers or sisters and we dedicate them to you as well that they would walk in fear and they would walk in your ways. So it would be evident to these little ones as they grow older, older that, that, that Jesus makes such a huge difference in their lives at home. Lord, may it be as real in the days ahead, at home, at work, on vacation, even in the difficult times as it is right now as they stand on this platform and dedicate themselves to you. Lord, we know at times raising and rearing children can be a challenge, but you understand what it means to be a father and you understand uh, what that's all about. So Lord, to the best of our ability, we do dedicate these moms and dads and these little ones into your care. Lord, give them the strength and the courage, the hope, all that they need, Lord, in the days ahead to be the best mom and dad that they could possibly be. Father, thank you for those family and friends who want to encourage and be there and help support in the raising of these children. May they be a godly influence on them. So, Father, we thank you now for these minutes on this very special Mother's Day to dedicate these homes and these little ones to you. And we ask it all in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen. And amen. Before you leave... I'll bet you you've got some special loved ones and friends that are here, maybe some grandmoms and granddads and, and godmoms and goddads. Uh, Would you please stand if one of these families on the stage behind me belongs to you? Would you do that? Would you please stand as a testimony? Stand just for a moment. Thank you for coming this morning. Uh, you're going to have such an influence on uh, these little ones just as these parents do. And it's a testimony. Uh, to you and to them of uh, your willingness to be here this morning. And we want to thank you so much for doing that. You may be seated. You may be seated. So much.